Well, I want to take you back, or take us back to Monrovia, Liberia, when mercenaries came to your home and you were involved in several near-death experiences. Take us back to that moment. How did you feel? Well, I tell you, I, I don't think I've ever been more, more frightened in my entire life. I mean, you know, I was, what, uh, 12 at the time when, when, when the war started in Liberia, and uh, there was one fateful day there, I think it was back in July, when the, when the war finally reached Monrovia, where I lived, soldiers burst us through our doors with guns, looking like they were, ch they were being chased by ghosts or something. And so we, we, there were, I want to say 20 or 21 people who, who were lined up in front of our house with these soldiers who just looked like they were scared to death. So we were scared to death, but they looked like they were scared to death. And they lined us up and they said they were going to kill us. Now, how, how did you get out of that situation? Uh, I have short answer. We got out of that first and foremost, just really by prayer. Um, my mom, who was a single mom, and she had me and my brother when she was uh, 18 and 20, um, she, she started praying, and it, we had a lot of folks. Again, these were, most of the folks who were with us were folks who were part of this Bible study. And so I think we did the, the one thing that we probably should be doing often as, as, as believers is pray, praying. And we, we prayed, and I know my mom prayed, and she asked one of the, who, the, the men who appeared to be, I guess, the one in charge, Hey, you know what? Um, there's a lot of firefight happening around us. They're, 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 we're hearing a lot of gun sign, uh, sounds, motors, and different things. Can you just let us kind of get in the house for now, just to be at least you know, so we don't get caught in you know in any bullets that are astray? Can you just let us get in our house, and then when things die down, you guys can sort of do whatever you want with us. So um, they actually did. Now you had a lot of miraculous moments where. Even looking back now, God has rescued you from. Yeah. And just to move the story along, you eventually got um, you got moved to the Ivory Coast. Right. And um, you became a refugee also um, in the Ivory Coast. And right. then miraculously, you were brought to the United States of America. Right. right. So, what was it like for you? Um, you know, thinking back to where you were, almost killed, and God actually saved right. you. Right. Um, and you started over in a new country. What did you feel? One of the things that I've learned um, is that God is always moving in your life. And to your point, the more I, I got away from the war and the older, and as time sort of passes by and I reflect on the, on, on the, on the moment, what is to write in the book, talking to you, uh, talking to young people like I do. And certainly when we first got here, thinking back about that experience, you realize, as I got older, you know, you realize, man, God was all, God is always moving, even while we're sitting here right now. Best part of it, though, was that we were reunited with mom. So the whole time during the war, my mom had actually been taken out of Liberia, um, helped with, uh, with, with our friend Moses. We call him Uncle Moses. You know, think about Moses in the Bible. He was sort of our savior, both helping mom get out of Liberia, into the Ivory Coast, and then to the U.S., but I, I, it was just great to first be with mom and to start over in this new country. But we didn't really know, right, what life, what the Lord had planned for us. So, but it was just great to not be in that situation anymore yeah. and you, to be home. You, you went through a lot, but you saw the hand of God move you um, to greater. And really, you're a success story. Um, you know, even through coming here and in, in the book that you've written, Liberia's Son, um, just chronicling your journey and where you are now, um, even coming here, you became a success story, and you worked in Fortune 500 companies. You, um, you did things that you probably never thought you could. And someone watching who maybe, uh, you know, was in a war situation, is in a war situation, or in, you know, in poverty, and, and looking at you like, wow, you know, he's made it. What would you tell that person? Well, I would tell them, in, in, you know, and just. It wasn't. It was. It, it's what I was saying earlier about how God is always moving. You, you really, you, you really don't know what God is, has in store for you, even where you are now, and what He could do. We, we never planned, never visualized any of the things that happened. I've been extremely blessed to work with a dear friend, Dave Verhagen, on the book, to go to some really good schools that I, I didn't realize they were so good in terms of my education and work, as you mentioned, with some great companies, and and have a lot of opportunities. But I realized. I didn't plan any of them. I, I, if I sit here and say, yep, I had this all mapped out, I would absolutely be lying. And I think a lot of people, I stopped trying to plan my life, I don't know, however many years ago, actually pretty much after the day I got married, so that was 17 years ago, stop planning because you're not in control anymore, right? So, um, but, but what I would tell that person is that, you know, 
really, this is where you are right now. The, 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 just, just have faith in the Lord. Have faith, and I, and I know some, it's, it's really hard to believe that, especially when you're in the middle of some really difficult times. Um, but it's really the time that God is even more present. And, and I'm thinking about the, uh, I think there's, I don't know if it's a poem called Footsteps, I believe it's called, where you, you're going through all this stuff and you're walking and you see two sets of footprints and it's you and the Lord. And at some point it's only one set of footprints and you feel like it's you by yourself, but it's, it's actually the Lord carrying you. And through, through that entire war and through all the experiences we've had since we moved to the US, um, you know, I, I read, as I look back on them now, I realized God was, it was God all along carrying us, orchestrating things, orchestrating every opportunity. And, uh, and, and, and without the experience that you're going through, if you're going through a war, if you're living in a war, or, or you're struggling in your marriage or health or anything, God knows it and He's there with you. And I'm not talking to you, I'm actually telling myself, um, where, you know, if you're, if you're going through this experience, He's with you more than you know. And just ask Him to help you see where He's moving 